It's that time of the week when Andrew washes his car again. <laughs> you doing the Yaris next? Hey. I forgot it was red. He's a good lad. It's Sunday and we've got some blue skies. I'm gonna go up on the buggy now, see what the sweet corn looks like, whether it's gonna harvest today or not. And then I've got 10 acres of summer barley that I wanna cut because the weather next week is gonna be awful. Again, another storm coming, lots of rain, probably knock it all on the floor and make it even worse for traveling. So we'll find the buggy and go and do it. That wax he put on last time he washed it, it's really worked. He should get one of them because that does 40 to the gallon. Which is only does about 15 or 20 because it's a 2 litre petrol. Because that's like a, a 1.6 three cylinder petrol. Still really green, especially there where it must have got a bit more fertiliser. This. Let's have a look. The cobs. It's actually, actually riper than I thought. See my nails growing out after June. End of May I did that on the combine run, getting the sign ready for the roof. No, I think I'll do this today. Maybe on a frost in a few weeks, but perhaps or another dry afternoon. Just having a look at this barley that we drilled. Absolutely ruined. Just lay too wet. Just not not even wanted to come up and then where it has get a bit stripped by the slugs so that's the point now though where we could travel putting slug pellets on to be fair we'll get some on it see if we can save it it doesn't look clever at all this field of barley was the one sown a week before all that bad weather came on Friday night, just about fit to travel. Totally different story now. Also though, it had a little bit less disturbance. Maybe had a tiny little bit of disking, not much. But this is, this is all here now. We decided we we're gonna go cutting barley, but the header, we hadn't realized we left it in the field the other day. So gotta go and grab that. And the tire was a bit soft, so we just gonna install the airline out of Joe's tractor because I don't know where the airline is out of any of ours. We used to have one in every single tractor just in case the tire's soft when we get there. So we'll go and get that and get the combine and cut this 10 acres and leave the sweet corn for another day. How to tell if it's wet when you're pulling a barley field? The wheel on the end of the trailer gets stuck in the straw. There's water in the wheel marks. Looks all right though. Crow's in it again now. You're here the other day. Anderson's gonna rain. It does look like it now, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll bother to now. See how wet it is? Pretty moist. It is, isn't it? Can't get me fingernail in that though. We'll just get it in the shed. It's only gonna get wetter. I think that cat's got the right idea for a Sunday. Just have a little snooze in the sun on the straw. Still blue skies here, though the black clouds are coming. And if you look at the satellite picture, I think we've got about an hour. Should do it in an hour. So we're gonna go and try anyway. Can you see that? I've got a mattress stuck to the end of the divider. Oh. oh I'm just gonna go and grab it. I'll lower it down. That would have made a mess if it had gone through the machine and got wrapped around all them augers. That would have took probably more getting out than that panel we combined up.
very comfy mattress, does it? Four hands for this. looming hopefully we'll get it finished and that's the time lapse in the whole progress you can see it's, no, you can't really it's just starting to spit a little bit oh we've got an AB line already up there that's clever isn't it so the AB line from the field the other day is uh, pretty much in line for this field so that's handy saves me having to do a new one yeah this again was a bit thin because we didn't have enough seed, so we stretched it to fit. It's going to go as fast as we can. We're going about 10 hectares an hour. A little bit coming in the tank. Now this speed here, 10.67 hectares an hour, that's over 25 acres an hour. This is kind of what they've combined like in Australia. And there's a guy, I think it's pronounced Calamir Ag. He's cutting lentils and they're yielding a fifth of what they'd normally yield. And I think he's cut 200 acres already today. He sent me this video, I'm going to show you now. How you going, Ollie? Well, I've done 80, just over 80 hectares, so what's that, 200 acres for the day? It's not much fun reaping these, they're only about the height of a beer can. But we're finding a few. I think they're going about 700 kilos to the hectare. Last year they were going th over three and a half tonne to the hectare, so a bit of a difference. But I'll hopefully uh, pay the bills, keep the bank manager happy, and we'll try again. I've jumped off, Andrew's going to do a little bit, but look, the combine's barely cutting in at all because obviously it's held up because the soil's not disturbed by we didn't we didn't disturb the winter barley stubble, and then. We've obviously then drilled another crop into it's got all that root structure underneath holding it together. So we're absolutely flying, there's not a lot left to do, a little triangle over there, and then this bit here. It's quite thin here for ryegrass. So barley doesn't compete very well against ryegrass. You could actually drill this with wheat now, but it oh gee, best throwing a wobbler there but it is destined for spring beans. Under SFI that's coming out now, which is a sustainable farm initiative, they encourage you to grow crops like this, mix with other species for birds to eat over winter, which is probably what the crows were doing when we got here, but I think it's to feed songbirds more than anything. So we're gonna look at doing some of that. Because all that root structure put a lot of carbon back in the soil, whole things together it means you could drill it as soon as the combine leaves the field in the summer and it just provide summer cover on this ground stop it getting compacted from the rain and the hot sun that we get when it's got clay content that's where we get compaction it's getting ready for a new knife that combine you can hear it shattering in the grass in the bottom So now you can get a 15 meter header and I've seen an 18 meter one as well on the combine. It's actually full on raining now. If you look at the trees in the background disappeared in the mist. So Andrew, flat out across here now. 
just got this triangle left to go. A couple of acres, shouldn't take too long. What's he done? Got all the belts are jammed. Probably gobbled up a bit of puddle. Just rewind the beds. Go again. Very thin just here. Grass swamped it. You've got dust though, or chop straw, one or the other. Absolutely flying now, another up, down, and that'll probably be it. It is just like though, Australian harvest, big crops. There we go, we have beaten the rain clouds. That is all the barley cut for this year. We have only got that maize or that sweet corn left if we do get to cut it. That's a wrap. All done, name that song. I'll give you a clue. Vauxhall had a car and it was turboed. I think it's safe to say that we just got that done in the nick of time. You see on the puddles, it's absolutely tipping it down now. I time lapsed the whole lot, so we'll turn that off now and we'll see what it looks like. Back by popular demand, <laughs> lives here to do the birthday bumper, so off she goes. Uh -huh. So we've got George Tucker, who's 11, James Stewart, John Everett, who's 52, Stephen... Seve Wilson, I think it was. Yeah, Stephen Seve Wilson, 44. Um, Oliver Stiles, Godfrey Townsend, who's 70, Phoebe Jean, who's six, and Max McCleary Phelps, who's 15. Max was on it yesterday, but I missed the Phelps off, so I've left him on for today. So happy birthday to everyone. The total is now 50,722. What was it when you left in the summer? Um, probably about 42. Was it? Yeah, about Pretty good. 42, 43. Um, and also don't forget to watch The Real Country Fowl, which is out today. Starring, Starring. no other than Liv. <laughs> so go and watch it. I'll put a link below the video. Thanks, Liv. Looks even better now it's rained. Anyway, that's all for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Another wet, miserable October day. Made worse by the fact I've probably not had any sleep, but at least 2023 has got better with the birth of Clara. Anyway, thanks for watching today. If you made it this far, click like. That'd be amazing. Let us know if you've had any rain today as well in the comments, and I'll see you all tomorrow. I actually forgot to say, out the time lapse I'm going to show you at the end of the video, but also I'll be Agritechnica from Tuesday dinner time till Friday sort of dinner time. So if anyone's going, let me know and uh, we'll come and say hi. So I think the first stop will be the class stand.